All right, guys, I'm gonna apologize for the wind noise and I'm filthy, been sweating all day, running around doing chores, but here we go, number four, fuel line snapped off. 13 years old, it's been taken off and on three or four times in the last year. I can't really blame it. So we have a new one right here and we're gonna replace it on the side of the highway. Check back in just a minute. So that didn't take long. Just a quick run to the store after I found a ride, of course. Uh, always helps to have friends and karma, let's just say what goes around comes around. So let's see, uh, see if it worked. Let's see if we fix this thing. Just gotta turn the key a few times, bump the starter to get the fuel system primed again. That gets the lift pump going. There, I got a uh, uh, lift pump, fuel pressure right there, rail pressure right there. That dropped to zero, obviously, and the engine shut off after. So uh, we'll be looking for that to come back up and the truck should start. All right, so now lift pump, I mean, yeah, lift pump is making pressure. We saw that point one, the truck's not running, so it's not gonna make a ton of pressure, but that means that it should be sealed. So as soon as the lift pump fuel pressure drops to zero, there we go, it cut off. So that's three times priming it. Let's see if she starts. Boom. We have fuel pressure, we have a rail pressure, and we have a running truck. All I gotta do is clear that code out, I guess. Like I said, pays to have good friends. Just to kinda know what you're doing on your truck too. Uh, this was an easy fix. Now I just have to find somebody to uh, drive that car home for me. So it also pays to have another car too. High performance stuff breaks sometimes. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more, hit that bell so you know when I post videos and we'll see you later.